What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to assign your header to a specific page on Elementor. Now the reason why I'm doing this video is because I got a comment um, from Beast asking me how to, um, how to have a, a header on a specific page uh, using Elementor Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to move my camera there and I'm going to go ahead and like I said, you have to have Elementor Pro installed. Um, so let's go ahead and go into our templates and let's go to theme builder and go to add new and let's go ahead and add a header here. Page. Now I'm just going to create a uh, just regular header here. So I'm going to assign this page probably just to all the websites. Um, all sorry, all of my pages. Um, so as you can tell, I already have a header, and that's using um, the Elements Kits block. So I'm going to actually go ahead and just grab one that I made, which is just pretty much the one up there. Um, I just ended up saving it here. So. If you have a header, I have a bunch of videos on how to create a header, so you can just go ahead and watch those if you don't know how to create a header. Um, I'm going to go ahead and publish that. This should be on all websites. So, just go here. I'm actually going to, for this video, plugins, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, the activate elements kits just so when I have that set already. Okay, now I can go back in here. Um, let me go back into templates here. Probably added it into the wrong the wrong one. So um let me go ahead and redo this actually. So click add new because I might have just done added it into the wrong section here. So I'm gonna add all this um Call this new header. And then I'm just going to choose a header that I already have here. So I know these will work. Okay. Um, so as you can tell, my menu probably isn't showing, and it's just because it's probably was using. Um, I was using the one from Elements Kids, but anyway, I could assign that however I want. Um, but yeah, that's not. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add a button for this video. Um, like I said, uh, if you want to know how to, if you want to learn how to create a header, you can just go ahead and um, check out some of my videos on my channel. I have tons of videos on how to create headers, probably like about four of them now, I think. So that should definitely be able to help you out. So. We're going to publish this and we're going to go ahead and just do the entire website for now. Um, and now we're going to go and see how that looks. So, now I'm not really setting up this page or anything like that. Like I said, I removed on Elements Kit, so it's kind of messing some things up here. So don't worry about this, just only worry about the header here. Um, it's kind of just kind of an example here. So, as you can tell, I have probably have it on every single page. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and go into my um, go into my menu. I'm going to kind of add some of the new pages. So I'm going to remove this one, and I think I've I think I added a contact us page. So these ones are actual pages. So let me just go ahead and add these in here. And I'll just go ahead and remember that. Okay, so th there we go. So if we go to these pages, you can see that we have the menu, right? But let's say we want to we want to have a specific menu on here. Okay. Well, what I would suggest doing is head over to let me remove this one. So from here, head over to your te your Elementor templates. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new header for uh, this the about us page, right? So click add new, and this is going to be um, I'm going to call this about us header. Header. Make sure that's uh, selected for header, and I'm going to click create. And I'm just going to use any of these Elementor Pro um, headers that we have here. So I'm going to use this one for an example. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, publish this, and I'm going to add a condition. And I want to do singular, and you're going to want to do um, 
pages here, and you're just going to want to search for the page. So it's going to be called About. So it should be called About Us. And I click Save. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, go to the About Us page. Sorry, let me go to Home so I can show you exactly what I mean. So as you can tell on the home page, I have this different header. If I go to the About Us, I have this header here, right? Um, now let me go ahead and um, do this for the contact us page. So same process, go into uh, Theme Builder, add new, and call this um, contact us header. Or you can just do you know, something like this. If you want to be very technical. Um, how do you want to do that, right? And then just choose header. And this is the same process for your footer as well. So let's go ahead and choose this header here. Click publish, a condition, singular, and pages. And you can do um, contact with, right? So go ahead and save this. You do this. Let's go back to the home page. Go to contact us. And you notice that we have a different header here. Okay, now that's all that. Well, now that's set up. Now let's say you wanted to add this to a different page, right? We can, uh, sorry, we can go into display conditions and we can add another condition. So, and we can also exclude this as well. So let's say you wanted to exclude this header from the home page, anything like that, but I don't think that's really necessary. So we can do, we can even do archives, you know, you can do, you can do blog posts, stuff like that, categories, um, you can do singular, uh, you can do you can just do posts there. You can just type in a specific post. But if you really didn't want to do all the posts, you could just do all archives and just make sure you do uh, post archives. And that should be set already right there. Um, and that's how you would go about doing that. And that's how you would go about doing that. So I hope that was able to answer your question, Beast. Um, if not, just feel free to let me know. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe um, just so you can catch up on the next video that I upload. Because I do upload a lot of Elementor videos and WordPress videos. Um, I will probably be uploading some marketing videos also because I know how to do quite a bit of marketing. I know to run Facebook ads, Google ads, um, Instagram ads, um, how to do various stuff. So find the bubble loading some videos on that later on. Let me know if you want to see those videos. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.